Alexander Zverev versus Alejandro Tabillo is the first semi-final for the men's Rome Masters for 2024. Both guys have had similar paths to get to this stage. Tabillo entered the tournament as the number 29 seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Hanfman. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 7-6. The third round, he take on the world number one, Novak Djokovic, a man that he'd never faced before. And this was super impressive, with Tabillo destroying Djokovic, 6-2, 6-3, to get his best career victory. In the fourth round, he take on Hashinov, the 16th seed, who's been a proven clay court guy over the last few seasons. And after a close couple of sets, Tabillo would get through in straights. 7-6, seven, 7-6 six, seven, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Tabillo would take on Zong, the only unseeded player to make it this far after taking out guys like Shelton and Manorino along the way. There's no problem for Tabillo winning in straights. 6-3, six, 6-4 six, to advance to the semifinals. Zverev entered the tournament as the number three seed and will get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Vukic. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-4. Six, six, in the third round, he'd take on Dadiri. And after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-6, seven, 6-2. Six, six, in the fourth round, he'd take on Borg we had to save match points in multiple matches to get to this stage. And after a close second set, Zverev would get through in straights, 6-2-7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Zverev would take on Fritz, the number 11 seed, who started to make a name for himself on the clay the last couple of weeks, which was no problem for Zverev getting through in straights, 6-4-6-3, to advance to the semifinals. These two guys have never played before, so it's going to be interesting to see how the nerves affect Tabillo and how Zverev is going to use the confidence of being in another Rome semifinal, because he's been here before, he's won this title before, so the experience level definitely on Zverev's side, but Tabillo also has nothing to lose, so this will be a really interesting matchup for their first one. Taking a look at the shot quality by Tennis Insights, on the serves, Zverev has dominated with his average at a 9.2, ahead of Tabillo's 8.2. But on the returns, it's been Tabillo who's been the better of the two this week, with a 6.8, ahead of Zverev's 6.9, ahead of Zverev's 6.7. But on the ground strokes, Zverev's forehand has been an 8.6, whereas Tabillo's been at a 7.6, and Zverev ahead on the backhand as well with a 7.5, ahead of Tabillo's 7.3. So the serve and the rallies are really going to be where Zverev can thrive. And Tabillo's got to make the most of those returns, especially if Zverev's serve is a little bit below the average it has been this week. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches, brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter, link down in the description. Really fun matchup here with two guys that, you know, played very, very well this week, have a lot of confidence coming in, but I've got to help with Zverev in this one just because of the experience. Tabillo's had a great run. He's beaten Djokovic, Hashinov, but I just feel like Zverev in this moment and he needs to kind of win before the French Open just to get that extra confidence going into that next slam. But let me know in the comments below who's making the final.